In this chapter we will give you very quick overview of USB-C, possibilities and features introduced with this new type of connector are very wide and only some of them uh, will be mentioned here. On the picture you are able to see signals inside USB cable with a reversible connector. In total it's 24 pin, out of these uh, 4 are dedicated for VBUS and 4 for ground. Signals for both high speed, so the USB 2.0 specification and super speed which is 3.x uh, uh, specification are included and doubled in order to keep uh, the reversibility of the connector. But don't be mistaken, USB specification is alongside with USB 2.0 or 3.x specification. So uh, with uh, USB Type-C cable you can uh, meet either uh, the so-called full-featured uh, cables which uh, contain all the signals including the super speed or uh, the signals with, or the cables or port which are missing the super speed so only uh, high speed communication is possible with this cable or uh, cables uh, completely without any data communication which are intended only for uh, the uh, power, power options and power delivery. Uh, interested uh, from the microcontroller point of view are the power option introduced with the Type-C. So now uh, default power option can be up to 15 watts, so it's uh, 5 volt with 3 amperes and additional power delivery protocol which is using unidirectional uh, communication on so-called CC pins uh, can negotiate the, the power profiles up to 100 watts, so uh, on uh, 20 volts and 5 amps. Uh, with uh, USB Type-C and power delivery protocol, also alternate uh, modes uh, can be used, so for example Ethernet, uh, DisplayPort uh, for, uh, disp uh, for image transport or audio uh, can be negotiated. Uh, the power delivery protocol can be used only if uh, both connected sides are using uh, USB-C uh, cables and uh, supporting this pr protocol. Uh, and uh, what is also new uh, compared to the older uh, uh, USB specification is that with USB uh, Type-C uh, power roll and data roll are now split. So it's uh, not true anymore that only host can be the provider of the power in the, on the bus. Now it's independent and can be negotiated and switched on the go. If you want to use the advantage of a nice reversible connector and or also uh, improve the power uh, capabilities of your current design or new design it's uh, very easy to adapt only using to resistor and uh, such configuration you can see on the picture and uh, more details can be found in USB type-c specification or also in ST application note AN4775 now a uh, bit closer to ST offer with USB Type-C and uh, power delivery. Uh, the oldest uh, offered uh, demonstration board uh, is uh, PNUCLEO USB001. On this board is uh, STM32F072 with analog front end. The analog front end is used only for the voltage level adaptation according to the specification of the USB-C and power delivery, but uh, all the tasks uh, are done here by the STM32, so it's completely covering the stack, covering the communication, and uh, as uh, quite uh, 
big part of the peripherals uh, for the specific task for which the peripheral are not prepared is used here. Uh, the resources uh, demanded on the STM32 side are quite big uh, for uh, handling the USB power delivery communication. So in the next level is uh, PNUCLEO USB002 uh, where uh, port control, uh, USB uh, Type-C port control STUSB1602 is used. Uh, this uh, port controller uh, is already covering the lower part of the uh, stack and uh, also is taking care about uh, electrical protection of the USB uh, connection. Uh, but uh, still some uh, peripherals uh, and some handling and the stack itself need to be uh, hand, uh, covered by the micro microcontroller again STM32072 is used uh, with the uh, STUSB1602 uh, microcontroller need to use uh, both SPI and I2C uh, to control this part uh, another solution is to um, is to use USB uh, Type C port ma uh, port manager, which is uh, marked as uh, TCPM. Uh, the usage of TCPM make the solution uh, very universal and uh, easier because uh, the port manager is uh, covering completely the communication and only I square C uh, for the uh, controlling of the uh, port manager is needed uh, which uh, makes this uh, solution very uh, e easy and universal among uh, the f also other families. Uh, what is uh, offered uh, as a uh, firmware package is called Xcube USB PD where uh, you can uh, find uh, examples, stack and drivers for all three uh, solutions um, mentioned uh, before. So this is already free of charge available on st.com. Uh, all the solutions uh, mentioned until now uh, were using uh, MCU, so it allows more universality uh, also adding additional functionality uh, to the design itself and uh, thanks to MCU also dual role and uh, alternate function uh, is possible with this board but if the application is uh, going to use only uh, the customer part or uh, consumer part or uh, should act only as a provider it uh, could be uh, easier cheaper and uh, faster for development to use uh, a standalone solution without any microcontroller and uh, for this there are uh, two uh, possible way uh, where to go so uh, it's uh, either stusb 47 xo for the provider only functionality or stusb 45 for consumer functionality. Uh, both of these chips uh, have non-volatile memory, so the EEPROM, where you can uh, set uh, the uh, parameters of the connection and then uh, these uh, chips are uh, working standalone without any microcontroller uh, to create the demanded functionality. So the solution then can be easier, but it's lacking the universality and uh, flexibility.